the academic level was very high. I knew that I would be challenged, that um, although it might not be easy all the time, that I would come out of here <laughs> with a, with a well-rounded understanding, I think, of theology, um, ministry, active ministry in the church. If a friend of mine was thinking about coming to Claremont, I would ask him or her, are you interested in having your ideas challenged and are you interested in, in hearing lots of different ideas about how the world works? I'd say definitely go to Claremont. Claremont School of Theology. Preparing leaders in ministry for a whole new millennium. It's here students discover that the world in which they will serve, as well as the seminary itself, is a study in contrasts. At Claremont, ancient meets modern, urban meets suburban, global meets local. Established and supported by the United Methodist Church, Claremont is one of the most culturally and theologically diverse seminary communities in the United States, preparing ministers, educators, and ministry professionals to serve the church in a diverse world. One of the things that I picked up here is just master teaching. I came in as a teacher and so I had a lens of teaching and education. The professors here, they like to engage in conversation with students. We have, we have all kinds of events that go on at school here. We have lectures, we have different receptions for, for visiting scholars. We have community events. There's a Korean full moon festival. There are all kinds of things to go to. Community meals after chapel on Wednesday. The professors come to chapel. They go to those meals and we sit at a common table together and talk to each other. To cut anyone out of the Culturally diverse and from over 20 denominational backgrounds, Claremont's faculty gives each student a unique opportunity for theological education. Each strives to make the good news of the gospel credible and clear to all students. I think the gospel has come alive for me um, through the professors and through the classes that I've taken. Before I came here, as well as after I got here, I realized how important it was to be able to have some time away from the books, to be able to just focus in on the reality of God and God's presence and God's um, desire and ability to assist me in all that I endeavor to do. Probably the greatest thing that I will take with me is um, the fact that the work that I have done is quality work because the people who have mentored me have been quality people and have been truly interested in guiding me and helping me to do the best that I can do. We have scholars from around the world, literally, coming from Asia, from Europe, from South America, all coming to this campus to study with this community of scholars. They feed their way into classrooms, they give special seminars, they come for sabbaticals, and then they go home again. But they bring their richness of their own culture and their own studies here, integrate with who we are, and then go back again, leaving us the richer for their having been here. I took a class in my last semester from Frank Rogers on religious education for spiritual life. Frank presented some ideas to me that really rang true with what I was dealing with at the moment. The idea that the Spirit moves in our lives in many different ways, that it, it cradles us when we feel broken and at the end of our rope, that God's Spirit then can take that brokenness and energize it again and bring it back to life and that we can be energized to take that life out into the world. That threefold movement that Frank talked about has become a focal point for my theological perspective and the way I intend to, to live my life and to live my ministry. Carl is a very gifted student. Um, he comes with a very bright intellect and is very dedicated to his studies. He comes with a deep yearning for that which he studied to come alive for him. He wants it to come from inside of his gut and not just from his head. And he wants that not just for himself and to nurture that in himself, but the gift that he would bring to ministry is that this is not just about uh, talking about God or believing in a certain tradition. It's about helping people recognize the reality of God in their lives. I do believe that the church will really not move ahead uh, until we have a whole cadre of graduates uh, who are trained in uh, 
theological education for the 21st century, who are bright, articulate, and who are part of a new generation uh, that is uh, looking ahead uh, to the future. In all four of its degree programs, emphasis is placed on integrating theoretical and practical disciplines. such as scripture, preaching, teaching, and pastoral care. And at every step along the way, students are directed to give thought to the relationship between tradition and the daily responsibility in local parish life. The immediate things that come to mind that I'm going to remember are that theology and theological perspectives that I have learned, which at first were things that I just included in papers, have now, through my experiences in the arts, in worship, in outdoor classes that we had on the lawn, theology has become something to live. I'm grateful for the contrast between intellectual excellence and practical application, um, and that you can do both. You can have you know, devoted scholarship and, and real compassion for the outside world, that they're one and the same thing, that they're not, they're not separate. We are uh, very much recognized that it is irresponsible, as well as unfaithful, to study theology in uh, today's world and not be concerned about things like racism, things like abuse, things like sexism, um, the pains and the wounds that reverberate, that we all encounter, and people within the church have to live with and discover ways of participating with God in the healing of them. I try to illustrate as concretely as possible, as concretely as I can, where the human beings are, where the society is, where we are in terms of uh, our emotional needs, our spiritual needs, as well as our intellectual needs. Claremont School of Theology has many research institutes and centers that provide students with opportunities that go far beyond traditional study, such as the Ancient Biblical Manuscript Center, which houses the only complete set of photographic copies of the Dead Sea Scrolls outside of Israel. This is the only institution in the world that's devoted to preserving manuscripts photographically, manuscripts of the Bible, and manuscripts related to it and then democratizing them, providing them for scholars and all interested parties. We make this culture, the heritage, which is precious to all, available to all. There are very few African-American females who have their PhDs in Christian education or religious education, and I'm really hoping that once I graduate that I will be able to go into um, a seminary, a Christian college, or a university and be able to offer my gifts in that area. In just a few months, I'll graduate with a Master of Arts in Religious Education degree. My big goal in life is to really be um, an ethical English teacher, somebody who um, has a calling. Carl Stuckenberg. After leaving school, I plan to be ordained in the United Methodist Church. I want to work in the local parish here in Southern California. Claremont School of Theology. Preparing church leaders for the next century. Claremont graduates are known for their creative and innovative ministries, serving faithfully around the world. We invite you to be one of them, to be part of this diverse seminary community, preparing to serve God in a world full of contrasts. As president of the School of Theology at Claremont, I now present this year's graduating class. The thing that I will take with me uh, are moments that I call aha moments that happened either in class or in discussions or in even just thinking about what I had been doing as I walked across campus to get my mail. When I go out into the parish, when I'm not in this community anymore, when I can't walk across the hall and talk to people who know exactly what I'm, I'm talking about at this time, I'm going to remember those moments and remember that they were real and that they can keep happening.